We're in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to edit a user. Let's go ahead and click on the admin icon, assuming you are an administrator. If not, you'll need to request that type of access from another administrator. If we click on edit a user and we click on a particular user, we'll go ahead and click on Jane Doe. And we have all these different options to change, such as we can edit the username. If we click there, we can change it to just Jane, for instance. And it's warning us saying, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. We'll go ahead and do it anyway. And we'll click close. We can also go in and edit the product licenses. And we can choose to add in a license or a specific type of license. And we can turn on or off features. We can go in and edit the group membership and make her part of a group. At this point, we don't have any groups. So we'll create those in an upcoming video. We can allow the sign-in, or we can say, oh, Jane's been temporarily suspended, so we're going to block her sign-in. And then when we're done, we can click Save. And we can also change Jane's role. We can say, oh, Jane's been promoted. She's now a global administrator. Or she's a customized administrator and give her specific access. And we can change her display name as well. Let's say that uh, she got married and she wants to change her name to a hyphenated name of Jean Doe Smith. And we'll click Save. And when we're all done, we can go ahead and click Close. And that's how we edit a user in Office 365.